What are some interesting AI applications in MediaTek's powered devices? So we're a leader in making very power efficient, um, powerful, and highly integrated SOCs. With those SOCs, we're creating this edge AI hardware um, and also the, the accompanying software that's you know, bringing all of the processing, comprehensive processing to this edge AI ecosystem. On top of that, um, you know, all of these SOCs and the software can be used in smartphones, laptops, smart IoT, smart home, and intelligent vehicles. And Finbar, what are some interesting AI applications in MediaTek's powered platforms? So if we pick up some of the categories that, that Mark was just talking about, um, if we think about smartphones, which I think some of our platforms at the flagship and the premier tier of smartphones already have a lot of capability integrated for, for Gen AI. So that's probably where we're seeing some of the development of some of these applications and, and use cases in the in the early days. We're certainly seeing it enhancing um, imagery and, cap and pictures again. So replacing content and photographs, adding content yeah. to photographs. I think there's a bunch of social, fun, video generation tools. Use them all the time. Animation, <laughs> yeah, exactly, that I think people can have a lot of fun with on social media, with your friends, etc. And then I think there's another category of sort of productivity tools that are being developed where AI can be used to, you know, summarize notes, summarize meetings, generate content, write a document, help you with your productivity, whether it's in your business life or, or, or in, your, in your personal life. So there's a lot of things I think that are already beginning to develop in, in, in the smartphone era. The other category that's very exciting I think is in the car in automotive, which I think is going to be transformed by some of the new um, smart cockpit solutions that we're, we're launching. Yeah, how does that work? Like what's, what's that integration look like? Yeah, so we've announced a partnership with NVIDIA. We've launched uh, or announced some products moving into designs, new designs for the smart cockpit. And I think really bringing like orders of magnitude change in terms of the computing, the graphics, the AI capability into the car. And I think we'll see that change the experience in a couple of dimensions, certainly on the entertainment side, gaming, video, oh, yeah. multi-screen entertainment. But on the AI side specifically, I think it's going to open up a whole bunch of new applications because we can run smart AI agents, large language models in the car it's going to have a very natural language processing interface, which I think is a very safe and useful ex interface when you're driving a car. You don't want to be looking at buttons, looking at screens. So everything will be controlled, not just in the car, but through the car, through the connectivity in your life while you're driving uh, with these, these smart AI agents, as well as like safety features like driver alert, awareness, you know, other kinds of use cases. And of course, ADAS, autonomous driving um, for the car will also be enabled by a lot of AI features. AI and generative AI is gonna, you know, change your, the way that you interact with your home. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you walk up to the door, you might have a smart doorbell or camera that can recognize your face and automatically open the door mm -hmm. for you and you walk in, right? And um, the smart lighting, right? So you might have an a something called an AI hub that's gonna understand all your behaviors or your family behaviors and maybe be able to sense your phone and who you are and turn on the lights that you want on. Maybe put on uh, the music, you know, Shannon's music. Yeah. <laughs> this is your music list, put on your playlist. And then also, if we change gears and go to kind of the enterprise and industrial, you know, there's smart robots now. You can see like a lot of the manufacturing that's done for what Finbar talked about for cars, right. for electronics are all done by robots now. And, you know, they have AI that can uh, recognize, you know, the manufacturing process and boards and put everything together, even without lights.